Now, continuing on the theme of disability services, I have uh, two people with me, Jodie Hopkins from Frank Vickery Village and Michelle Rogers from our Wesley Life Skills Centre in Woolaware in Sydney South. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Look, uh, tell us a little bit about what you do, uh, the work that you represent. Really, uh, Jodie, a bit about Frank Vickery Village. So Frank Vickery Village is a retirement village and we're located in the Sutherland Shire in the suburb of Sylvania. Um, we sit on 15 acres of land and um, we opened in 1948 with eight cottages. Uh, we now have 203 units mm -hmm. and 234 residents living with us. That's great. And a bit about the work that you do. Um, at Woolaware, I have 18 clients at the moment um, who have a varying range of disabilities. Uh, 12 are in wheelchairs, uh, 12 are non-verbal. Um, they range from cerebral palsy to autism to Down syndrome to acquired brain injury. Most, it's quite a high need centre, so most are relying on staff for some help. So we want to know what you're doing together. So tell us a bit about how this idea to work together came about. Well, it, w it was a bit of a... It was a trip in, into town on the train, to be honest, but I had been thinking about it for a while because I really love the job that I'm doing. And... At the end of every day, when I walk through my centre and my clients smile at me as I go through, the feeling that that gives me, I wanted to actually have them experience that feeling. And I thought, perhaps there's something we can do. I am helping them every day. Perhaps there's something they can do to help others. And, and, and between the two of you, you dreamt up the idea of, of, of kind of doing something... Absolutely. Uh, for me, um, one of the needs that I have at my centre is that as people get older, they tend to become socially isolated. So at the same time, I was thinking, well, how can I meet that need? So when we're on the train together, um, we put our heads together and, and came up with this joined up idea. So what is it that happens? Well, what's happened is quite extraordinary because we come together now once a month we have a 12-month seasonal program. Mm. We have several clients from um, Woolware Life Skills that are involved and we have quite a few residents from the village who meet up to form friendships, share life experience, uh, work on projects together and it's actually given my clients quite a good deal of confidence mm. in dealing with the community at a wider angle than what they would normally do. Yeah. And lots of your residents would have known that we do work in, in the disability sector, as it were, but they wouldn't have ever experienced no, it, would No, that's they? right. And I think that's another um, gain that we've had, is that it's opened their eyes to the, the broad spectrum of things that Wesley do. So it's not so much reading about the services from the annual report, or it's actually going to these places and seeing. So in lots of ways, they've been taken out of their comfort zone but they've thrived in mm. the process. So tell yeah. us about the projects. What are the projects? Well, at the moment, we're working on uh, our summer project, which will be a mural mm. uh, to be worked on by both the residents and the clients at Woolaware and staff. And we're calling it the passion. Mm. So it is uh, something that each client and resident and staff member are extremely passionate about. Mm. So we actually thought about uh, doing uh, handprints and footprints and we thought that's a bit preschool, we're both dealing with adults. Mm. So Jodie's idea was to go that one step further and think about what our clients enjoy the most, what yeah. their passion is. Yeah. So we're going to take, we've taken small photos of each client that will be at the centre of their passion. Uh, one of my clients, for example, loves a cup of coffee and she likes considerable cups of coffee over the course of her day. So her passion, of course, will be coffee or a coffee cup or something to do with that. She's definitely a Sydney cider, isn't she? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and, yeah. and so will you do something similar at, at the... At That's Victory? right. So there'll be two murals that we'll create. One will sit in the dining room at the village and the other one will sit in Michelle's centre in her foyer um, and it'll be made up of all different types of 
Um, it could be things being glued to the mural, it could be uh, glitter, it could be whatever that person wants to do. Quite eclectic, mm. um, not necessarily beautiful and pretty, but um, representing the, both the groups. We've, we've talked about joined up thinking and practice and wanting to put into practice the fact that people work together and can cross work. Just a sentence or two, what do you think people have really gained out of this? I think my clients have gained keep quite a sense of confidence. Um, clients with a disability tend not to interact with each other. It's a strange phenomenon that I've seen myself on countless occasions. They will interact with staff, but they don't often interact with each other. And this has helped them to do so that. So this has helped them to do that because they're forming solid friendships with people that are older that are not within their centre, which is then helping them gain the confidence to extend that further out into the community. And for your people? Um, it's brought people out of their units. Um, if not to be involved, to be um, a witness to that. Um, some people might have sat in the background and been a little bit curious about it. Um, it's, it's dealt with that social isolation and also it's given people confidence. And you two are obviously excited about it and we're delighted it's happening and we hope it's going to be the start of something bigger beyond those villages. Jodie and Michelle, thank you very much for joining us on Wensley Impact. It's very interesting to see two of our key managers thinking outside the box, being innovative and finding unique ways to improve the lives of those we seek to serve. Thank you.